Hey, what's up? Today in this lesson, I'm going to try and get this photo of Matt Trainor from Bless the Fall to look something like this. Alright, um, I got this photo from juliarapkin.com, so thanks for that. Uh, go ahead and copy it. And I'm going to go File New. So I'm going to select the preset clipboard so we've got the same width and height. Uh, hit OK. Uh, paste that one in. And now first off, we're going to try and hide the drum kit a bit and just focus on Matt himself to give it that sort of pop out look. Um, to do that, I'm going to make a new layer, go into brushes, and I'm going to select Vector Grudge. Now Vector Grudge is very good for doing overlays and stuff for background, so I'm going to choose the last one right here. Um, first off, before I do anything, I'm going to make sure my foreground's black, and we do that by pressing D. Okay, um, now I'm just going to start paint brushing over a bit over the corner, coming in a bit down the side. Um, try not to cover up too much, but just a bit, so, and get that corner gone. So that looks pretty good for me. It's got that nice grungy sort of corner background. Um, you can go in, maybe put a bit of other brushes and just click around and stuff just to sort of merge it in and mix it up. Um, okay, next thing I did, well I'm gonna go and make the little bless the fall icon down the bottom left, get that out over and done with. Um, I've got a brush set called Emo and stuff by X Photoshop X. So I'm loading that up and I got this little star icon here. I'm gonna make my foreground white by doing that I'm pressing X. Okay, now I'm just going to paint it down here. Select the text tool. Um, I've got close to black selected. It's not the same text I used in the last one, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to type BTF. Drag it on into the star. It's too big, so I'll probably just make it a bit smaller. Right, sweet. Now I'm going to start um, cropping out Matt himself to make him stand out later on. So to do that now I'm going to select the original image, duplicate it by dra dragging it into the new file button, bringing it up above everything else and selecting the um, polygono lasso tool and you can get that by dra hold clicking down on lasso and clicking polygonal. Alright, so now I'm just going to start here and do a rough outline of Matt himself. Um, doesn't really have to be too precise. Actually, that's like the whole kind of effects, that sketchy sort of look. As long as you follow the joints, I guess. Um, now as we come up around his arm, as you can see the the drum six go in this direction so I'm going to create the effect of motion by actually adding more on this side and you'll see the effect of that later on so alright so when that's done go ahead and inverse the selection which is control shift I and then press the delete key okay now control D to get out of that um, you won't notice anything straight away but it's actually cropped out so now we're gonna make a layer in between our mat himself and BTF so just make a new layer by pressing the new layer button um, now I've got this set of brushes called old star and they've got, um, where is it, here we go, old brushes too, the Krako. They've got some old sort of writing and stuff. Um, where's the one I used for the other one? Here we go. This one I really like. Um, before I actually print it on though, I'm going to change the color to a gray. So, 3E, 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 whatever. I'm just going to see what that looks like, so I'll go ahead and click 
and as you can see, you can definitely see that outline um, of Matt coming through because we cropped it. So I might actually control Z that brush and do it again just a bit up more. Oops, did it on the wrong layer. Right, sweet, that looks good. Um, now I'm just going to add some more brushes. So I've got this night sky brush set. And using the first brush, I'm just going to click a bit. It's got that sort of starry look. Um, and yeah, so now I'm going to cross-reference it with my old image. See what I've missed. Alright, well that looks kind of about it. The only difference with this image is that the 15 and stuff's a lot darker, so fix that. I'm just going to delete this layer and start it again. So, come over, I'll go to old style again. Select that brush, make this way darker. Maybe even more. Nah, back where that was. Ah, right, yeah, that's good. Um, now I'll quickly do that night sky again. I'm going to select the other night sky to mix it up. Alright, that looks good. Um, I'm just going to go back into the old brushes. And there's a little brush here. And what this actually is, is just, um, just a line, obviously. But if I use it over here, it sort of creates that effect where, you know, that's part of the background and everything. So I like that. Um, I'm going to finish it off very simply by making a new layer on top of everything, text, um, making the text white and typing in his name. Highlight that and bring up the size. I'll control T that, rotate it a bit, bring it down. Yeah, it looks good. So, That's how you get a picture like this into something like this. So use this and apply it to heaps of style of pictures. You can do a whole lot more than I've just did there. And you can add like color coming from behind him and all this other cool stuff. Or if you make it an overlay, it just looks here. I'll, I'll take the background off and then I'll make top matter overlay. Creates that mad punk effect. Um, yeah, so I hope this helped you guys. So yeah. Thanks for watching.